Go live from New York. It's the show that is a power packed half hour. It's first things first. What was that? That's a power pack. <laughs> <laughs> Today. Okay. Yeah. Five and one. Yeah. Should Chiefs fans be happy like us? So happy. Oh, come on. So, Wilds, what have I been telling you? I've been told you two things. I, that did cross One my mind. was before the year that this would be the best Chiefs team of the entire Mahomes era. And the other was over the last few weeks that they're practicing. Yeah. Would you like the footage or the facts to support both oh, those the takes? TV show. I'll take You'll the take footage. the footage? Yeah. Okay. You want to see some fun practice footage? <laughs> sure. How about, bro, the opening script having a scripted tight end to tight end lateral? That is the type of thing we can show it to you right here, I think, that you do in practice. You're I, like, I you know what? Think of you wait when for they him, wait this. for him. There we go. Pitch it there. <laughs> you thought of me. All right, how about some more practice? All right, so Philly loves the brotherly shove. What if instead of having the greatest offensive line involved in it, we have our punter pushing our backup snapper in the, in the back? Or what about the old up back flea flicker wide receiver three to running back three pass? <laughs> that was Those awesome. are practice plays. Now I know what your gut reaction though is. Okay, even if they are practicing it, why would they? They haven't been dominant. Well, they've been literally the most dominant Chiefs team through six weeks we've ever seen. That cannot be true. Really? That's Let's look at it. They've never had a better record through six weeks. They've never beaten teams by a larger margin through six weeks. I believe we can show it to you. Wow. So while the offense is scoring the least, they have never in the Mahomes era through six weeks had been better than five and one, and they have never been beating people by a larger margin. I so I would ask you this. Okay. They were double-digit favorites against a desperate divisional team that you two told me all week. Oh, careful of the Broncos offense. No, Russ has been no, better than I mean, you think. Come on. Wild. Wow, was, you did a whole graphic about how the Broncos was in the fact. first quarter. I wasn't like, right. we didn't I, pick the no, Broncos. No, but, I beat them. I was and like, so ah, we you picked guys, a close game. What you guys it want, it was, right. they won by 11 yeah, points. That's, they won, they won by 11 points. 19 points. points. They, hold on. Yeah, so, okay, 16 so, points. So they were they're, they're the third biggest favorites of the week. They cover, and it's not enough. You cannot be happy uh, they, with that. They, you cannot look, be happy The with defense that. is great. Well, that, is that I'll allowed? That. Is that allowed? Because Russell Wilson. I, no, but overall, the defense is strong. You said Russell Wilson was playing well. To he say did. this is the best Chiefs are team yet. Are you a fact yet, or feelings guy? This is not. Look, when I put up Russell Wilson stats, those are what? Facts, but I always yep. am objective and yep. couch it with he's not playing as well as the numbers suggest. I don't care what numbers you put up. The offense is not looking good. It said worse. This was a defense. Worse. This was a defense that gave mm -hmm. up 30 plus to the Bears, uh -huh. to the Jets, yeah. and to the Commanders. Yeah. Forget Miami, what they did to yeah. them. Just these three teams, and you couldn't even get 20. Yeah. All right. I, I, I'm concerned. Look, I'm not concerned about Patrick. But the receivers still. Rasheed Rice. Me. Rasheed looked better. No, Rasheed looked better. That's all they need. He looked better this week. Let's see it could be consistent. Yeah. They can't. They don't get open consistently. Kelsey does. All right. Kelsey does. I'm talking That's about true. wide receivers. But they don't get open consistently. That's going to shrink the field against good teams for Kelsey. And Justin Watson, who I praised yesterday. Mm -hmm. the, the he just UPenn graduate. Yeah, but not he did it falling, right? Yeah. Because he dropped that ball. That that had nothing to do with a dislocated no, oh, elbow. Uh, I thought you were going to say you Yeah, got I mean, the yeah. pass – Hit him right in the hands. Come yeah. on. That is a problem. So, defensively, they're great. They're Mahomes great. is fine. How many yards did he throw for? But, oh, he was great. But they, they were, what, one and five in the red no, zone? No, they were – yeah. They're 17th in the league in the red that zone. And, uh, and against I, the worst defense in the league. Can, can, do you defense take that gives up any credence to the fact – that do you think if it was a game they had any concern of losing, they would have run the field goal fake tush push? Well, they do a do lot you? of strange. They do yes. a lot of fancy plays. Yes. Not just last night, but period. Yes. In this the, is in my the red point. zone, they often do those. Yes. Things. So don't tell me they're, that was only because they're practicing, okay. unless they practice every single game uh, well, of Mahomes' it, career. It did feel like a scrimmage. It no, had scrimmage I, I, I vibes get the, to it. The, but I'm saying, look, the defense is great. And overall, they're, well, they're then playing it, well. Then we're done. But the offense is a concern, not because of Mahomes, but because okay. you still lack weapons on what? the outside. Okay, Go here's ahead, the Wallace. thing. 
Chiefs are five and one. Mahomes is now eighty and twenty. And I know everybody yells at me when I talk about quarterback wins, but we're very happy to throw up the eighty and twenty career record for Patrick. Mahomes. Who's throwing it up? Everybody. Well, you. Well, I, well if you the want to throw up, but it's not because <laughs> here's the thing. When I talk can, about quarterback, they wins. can put it up because it is. Unlike the other quarterback wins, and you can put up the graphic, Dusty, unlike the other quarterback wins, yes, he has the best win-loss record through 80 games, but he also has the best everything I know, I'm just through 100 80, games. 80-20 is impressive. Uh -huh. He's averaging 265 yards. It's the eighth most, which doesn't seem great, but four guys ahead of him, like Kirk Cousins, have losing records. So it's still solid. Nice. And then just I wrote down honesty check. Did I ever think he was in danger of losing that game? Of course not. Not even a little bit. <laughs> not even a and little bit. And here's the thing. Bit. They didn't I, seem happy. I understand uh, that if we are – the Chiefs' wide receiver core is a question mark. But the Chiefs' pass catchers are not. Mm. Because if as long as you inc include Kelsey in the group, if you're like, okay, take away Kelsey, what do they have? Well, take away Diggs. What are the – the Bills have. Gabe take Davis a, better than anybody. I, the uh, I'm not sure about that, no, to be honest I'm with sure. you. I'm not I'm sure, sure about it. But the there are yes, it is true that the the Bengals, for instance, have Higgins and Chase, and obviously the Eagles have Smith and uh, Devontae Smith and AJ Brown. AJ Brown. And the Chiefs right now have Kelsey. I think Rice is going to become that guy. Okay. But here is what is where I once again will say I think we judge the Chiefs by a slightly different standard, because. Mahomes threw for 300 yards yesterday, yeah. 120 were to Kelsey. And people were like, eh, who else is going to catch the ball? Joe Burrow threw for 300 yards on Sunday, 190 were to Chase. And no one's like, eh, other than Chase, who else is going to catch the ball? It's like, yes, your best players pr contributing the most to your team is, wild, is how teams win games. Yeah. And the defense being awesome is, a, I think, the rest of the league. If you were to ask them going into the year, okay, guys, here's the deal. Through six weeks, Kansas City's offense can look amazing and the defense can look very shaky. Or the defense can look amazing and the offense can look shaky. What's scarier? Yeah. What's scarier to the rest of the league is the Chiefs having a great defense, which they unequivocally do. Let me ask you this, Nick, quick. Yeah. Serious question. Do you think they miss B enemy? And and I know he's good. I know you like yeah. him, and he's good. Yeah, you know, maybe he's valuable. a little. But yeah. does that is that some of what's going on? Uh, I think I think the you know where I think the enemy would have where they really miss him. He has more of a get in your face factor when they're when they're kind of going through the motions that. than Matt Nagy certainly than Andy Reid. And so there is a level of I think you know what There's I mean snapping that. into that. But I think they will be self starters when the season actually starts in Germany. Until then couple more practices and we'll see you know I, I would go ahead and, and put the the special teams brotherly shove I'd play, I'd away. shelve that one. Mahomes didn't Having like the that kicker either. just watch Every it and the punter push it. Every team should that, except yeah. the Eagles. Yeah. Nobody Mahomes was sitting on the bench, you're like, what's going on here? That was, was. I thought that was a little <laughs> something. A little something. Uh, meanwhile, Denver loses to the Chiefs. I'm not sure the Chiefs were calling one. For the record. And I have no idea how he think. Like, I think he's being a little disingenuous there. Like, he had to eyes on the sideline to see if Andy was. I think it was because the Chiefs, I've watched Andy Reid coach this team forever. That situation with the offense not really clicking, I think he was going to let it go to half. Oh, I don't really? think he was necessarily going to call one. So, I do think he the was Chiefs to got deflected a, little correct, a free yep. three points Absolutely. there. That was a terrible gaffe by Peyton. And also, not a great job by the broadcast not acknowledging it once the entire time. It was bizarre. I well, thought it was a mistake. The, uh, they I thought the Chiefs called it. The, at first, and then it, but it then was so crazy. It was so <laughs> bizarre. But with that said, last night was on Russ more than Sean Payton. And, Brew, I know you have defended Russell Wilson quite a bit. This was the worst game he's played as a Bronco. Mm. This was okay. worse than any game he played under Nat Hackett. The sacks he takes are unforgivably bad, half of them. And he just looks like... I understand that this year he's had statistically a good resume and he's had one really good game, the game against the Bears. I don't think he's been good this year, and this was far and away the worst he's been, and I think it does open the door that if not this week, then after the next Chiefs game when they're going into their bye, Listen. that they consider putting Jared Stidham in. I give you – I think he'll be somewhere else next year because they're clearly yeah. – I mean, Frank Clark, gone. Yeah. Randy Gregory, gone. Jerry Judy could be on his way out. Right, on his way to like, Steve Smith's house. They are moving. 
I don't think he wants to mess with Steve Smith. He better. Not. I don't know about Judy how tough he is, but I know Steve Smith is tough. But yeah, there. I mean, I, I think Russ will start the rest of the season. I don't know why you'd bench him. I know he has that injury clause in his contract sure. where if he gets injured, like 2025 is guaranteed. More guarantees kick. So you might want to bench him to make sure he doesn't get oh. hurt. But I, 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 my bet is that they'll let him play. Okay, but it looks like they're totally going in a different direction. It's all about next year. Yesterday was on Russ. I think the season as a whole, I would put the lion's share of it on Sean Payton. I mean, if, if Sean Payton – like, if Nat Hackett were doing these things, giving up 70, defense goes from top 10 to dead last, and last night that gaff with the timeout call, he would be getting crushed. Now, Peyton has earned a little leeway sure. with his career, yeah. but still, it's bad stuff. But last night was rust. I thought wow. last night was the first time he looked wow. like he did last year. Go ahead. Well, I'm just going to throw something out. Yeah. Patrick Sertan, mm-hmm. Eagles, Cowboys. Cowboys need someone to replace Trayvon. Eagles have the eighth worst passing defense. So if there's a fire sale that, no, on, the, on the Broncos with the fire roster, sale, that's the type of player you don't trade. The the highly drafted young, guy you who's young, him. who's going to be a building mm. block. I, I listen. I think they could get a first round pick plus for him. Yeah. A lot of people believe he is the best corner in the NFL. Yeah. I don't think they would trade him. What I do think, I do think there's going to be a fire sale. And Wilds, I'm going to tell you. The day we come on the air and Baker Mayfield is still the starter and Russ has been benched will be one of the greatest days of my television <laughs> life. Keep and looking I, for that. I can't. Brew. Brew. You've got to give that one up. Brew. You've got to give that Brew. one up. Brew. We'll it's see. Baker Mayfield with the C on his chest leading a first place team and Russ <laughs> what, Wilson there's one, wearing what, the headset. What is, doesn't Russ have a C well, on his well, chest too? Yeah, yeah it's back yeah. on the sideline. Uh, up a C alert. on the sideline. Next on FS1, the Fox Sports Channel on Sirius XM. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.